Landed without incident. Gained access to facility. Proceeding inside. Scanning facility layout. Have you got the wake-up routine for this model of bot? Affirmative. Clock reads correct. So quiet. So dark. I never want to go through that again. There were so many of them. Shutdowns can be a bit of an ordeal. It was like a hailstorm with hailstones that are really pissed off. You okay? Just give me a moment. Isn't three years enough? That's a little glib for internal affairs. I'm not IA. I'm an independent investigator. So you're okay taking the IA's hand-me-downs? Are you always so cute first thing in the morning? All this time? And now they send someone? All the IA investigators are bogged down on other incidents. Must really be something if all of IA is tied up. Those guys have trouble walking and chewing gum at the same time. I look forward to seeing what you can teach me about that. Anything complicated had to be brought in. If it's a simple structure like a fuel tank, we cut it straight out of the ice. It's shaping up nicely. What was that? The ice always screams more when we're moving through alignment with Mars. Revive first bot. It's a non-sentient information assistant. I've tried the other kind, but you get too much attitude. Throughout my investigation, the assistant will record 3D and other data from every location in the facility. You seem very certain about that. It's a quantum sensor array. A facility like this will be a pushover. Never been on ice before, have you? And what if I haven't? It's a good idea to watch your step. Here we are. Is it a good idea having the emergency power station so far from the surface? That depends on where you were when the lights went out. So where were you? Isn't it all in the report? When is it ever all in the report? Interception teams aren't big on paperwork. Swing that thing around. There it is. I don't know why the interceptors have to be so rough on the gear when they shut the place down. They have pride in their work. 
Can't leave a box unkicked. Why did they pull the emergency power as well? They're probably a bit jumpy with the way things have been going. How have things been going? You don't want to know. We're dealing with highly explosive gases here. Being a fuel depot, fire in any part of this facility is a hazard. Is your system intrinsically safe? Do you know anyone who likes to be thought of as safe? Does your system use any naked flame? Naked? Any metal parts at a temperature higher than 120 degrees Celsius exposed to the surrounding atmosphere? Exposed? What do you take me for? No, nothing exposed. Well, all right then. Your name? What? Your name. Your ID? You were so good with the other questions. Pi. My name is Pi. Kiru. Got a light? I just said. Yes, you did. One of your reports described an accident where a worker unit perished. Yes, Faraday. We don't like to talk about it. You don't have to like it. Why don't I take you there? There were a few out-of-the-ordinary accident reports coming in from time to time leading up to the incident. Who made those reports? I did. They started to develop a very careful political tone. How do you mean? Like you wanted to be seen to be transparent and reporting everything factually. Is that bad? In my experience, that kind of tone only comes with newbies or very experienced administrators that are trying to make something so transparent it becomes invisible. And? I don't pick you as a newbie. something out of the accident report. Did I? An equipment ferry was supposed to deliver a very large quantity of copper wire to a facility after this one, but when he got there, the wire was missing. I covered that and supplied a full inventory of our stock. You can check it yourself. I will. Why don't you ask the cargo bot where the wire got to? I tried to track him down. But the last I heard, the bot was on a mission in the outer solar system and not due back for many years, if at all. But that's not what you left out. What is? His last report was of an argument that occurred very shortly before the accident. How is that related? It's the last conversation the worker Faraday had. Okay. This is a fringe excavation area. If you want general lighting here, you'll need the main generator online.
Who saw the accident? Faraday was alone when the accident happened. Let's take a ride down to the bottom. The crevasse is too deep. We measured its depth by bouncing sound waves into it. It descends a tenth of the way into the asteroid. Besides, the crane's broken. The crane was damaged in the accident. Who works the crane? Faraday. Bringing new hardware all the way out here is expensive. It used to be company practice to assign a team like this to a new project. Has something happened back there to change a policy like that? Where was the cargo bot when the accident happened? Unloading on the other side of the facility. You didn't answer my question. New management, I guess. They seem to like to start fresh these days. You'd have to ask them. What can you tell me about the argument with the cargo bot? There is someone you can talk to. Doc was there when it happened. Wake him. You make that sound so easy. So where is he? Right there. Of course. He looks just like the gear. You see that long pipe that leads into the tank? Yeah. You see the access panel? Yeah. You see the scaffolding? Yeah. Well, that's not scaffolding. How do they shut him off down there? Have you seen these guys? They're very nimble. I'm okay now. Thanks. This is the investigator. His name's Pi. Pi? To how many places? To all the places. That's a very long name. Kiru tells me you witnessed the last argument Faraday had. Faraday? Oh yes, it was up on the landing pad. At first they were just talking. Now why don't we all go up there and you can show me. I'd like to assess the damage from the shutdown if that's okay. Sure. This is where it all started on this asteroid. It used to be just a landing pad and this automated refueling station. It serviced the Great Belt Surveying Probe. There were some big numbers on that mission. She's still out there somewhere. Faraday? Oh yes, of course. I was fixing the main receiver dish over there. Faraday and the cargo bot were standing by the vessel about here. They were preparing to unload. Do you know what the argument was about? It was encrypted and unrecorded. Encrypted? Do you argue in a language passers-by can understand? Well, that depends on how useful the passerby can be. So what happened? Eventually, they realized I was up here and they pretended to talk about unloading. I see. Is there anything else? That'll do for now. If you want anything, I'll be in my workshop. There's an inconsistency in the local terrain. The adjacent landscape does not match the records. They're old records. What do you expect? The variance can't be explained by naturally occurring phenomena. So what is it? Don't do me any favors. Are you sure you're not sentient? There has never been a case of a 416 becoming anything like sentient in the... Okay, okay. That crater should be deeper. Is that it? Well, how do you explain it? It's in there. That's Faraday's recharger. You don't say. Why isn't this pod with everyone else's? He liked to spend time alone. 
Yeah. The other bots liked him to spend time alone. How well did you know Faraday? Enough to get the job done. That well. He wasn't easy to know. Didn't it bother you that he didn't mix with the team? It didn't seem to be a problem. Was there anything else? That's all for now. Can you play back one of these things? It is compatible. Yes, Faraday, I'm calling you regarding a negotiation on transport to Nova Skernivica. Yes. What? Doubling the price at this late stage is outrageous! You don't understand. I have no choice. I've got to get away from Doc. There's something you should know. There are a lot of things I should know. These messages are dated after Faraday is supposed to have perished. That's a bit spooky. Collect information about the contents of this dwelling. It's a recharge pod. Detailed information. Holy moly. Hello! Hey, buddy! You with the welding torch! I saw someone working in the powerhouse. It must be the secondary boiler intake again. When the system has been off for so long, the ice can put a lot of pressure on the metal structures. With Jupiter on one side and Mars on the other, this asteroid is like a stack of drinking glasses on a bumpy railway car. Why didn't you alert me to this? I want things to be kept the way they are. On startup, the computer became aware of the safety problem. Once the emergency power was restored, the system automatically woke Grip and drew his attention to the problem so it could be fixed. Take me to Grip. I don't know where he is at the moment. Who does know? Grip does. I want this place locked down. No one else is to be woken without my say-so. An investigator has arrived. We've been closed down for much longer than planned. Stop! Our work should be safe enough. As soon as this guy's out of here. I said stop! How are you woken? I don't like your chances. 
Don't these guys talk? They talk all right. How's your machine language? A little rusty. Did you wake this one? Yes. Why? I had to do repairs. I can't ask Daisy how she's feeling if she's dormant. Why are bots still being woken? Switch her off. Do it. No, wait! Forget it. I'm a manager here. I'm not a dictator. All the bots have the power to make choices independent of me. The central computer doesn't notify me every time it does something for one of the other bots. That would be madness. Grip. Daisy, I need your help in the superheating section. Just a minute. I want to keep any new work to a minimum. If it's okay for Grip to work, why not me? Why is Grip working on the facility? It's shut down. What is the point of working anyway? We were all put into long-term shutdown involuntarily and without notice. Do you like being shut down that way? It's part of the job. But do you like it? I'm trying to keep the crime scene as undisturbed as possible. What crime scene? What crime? We were shut down without a fair hearing. Tell it to the judge. We'd like a chance to show that we can make this facility viable. I can't authorize that. If you let us proceed, I'm sure the team will be much more helpful in your investigation. Is that a threat? I know what this team responds to. And what it doesn't respond to. It's just the nature of things. On the condition that certain locations are out of limits until I've had a chance to investigate. And the remaining sleepers are not to be woken until they're needed for questioning. Done. Why does the company care about Faraday? He wasn't that expensive. But a facility like this is. The humans sunk a lot of money into this place and lost it all. Now they've started on a new asteroid. They don't want to suffer the same expensive problems in the future. It's my job to find a concrete answer to what went wrong here so the humans can prevent it from happening again. Do you really think that's why they sent you? I don't know. I don't care. Knowing what they want just interferes with my work. I'm going to find out what happened here. It'll be a breeze so long as everyone cooperates. You'll have the pleasure of my company till then. What do you want to do about him? Nothing. The sooner this guy gets bored with us, the sooner he leaves, the sooner we can get back to business. Time check. 17.26 past the hour. Doesn't he have his own clock? The field around the chamber makes it unreliable. Where did you get that? It's just a heating coil. Gather as much information on this area as you can. Grade 9 detail. How'd you like to trade for that coil? What do I want silicon for? You can use it to trade with. Isn't it illegal for bots to carry processed silicon? It's just a matter of discretion. Why do you have that coil? You don't really need it. It keeps me warm at night. How do you tell the difference between day and night out here? Nighttime is when it keeps me warm. Time check. Daisy? 19.51 past the hour.
That looks like something you had to stay awake in class for. It's okay. The work you were doing earlier, the welding? The secondary boiler intake. Yeah. Does that keep you awake? Awake? It was the first thing you did. How urgent was it? The bit you were working on. What's it for exactly? It's just the next job on the list. Could the facility survive if it wasn't done? Everything's a safety issue with Kira. Do you know how the accident at the crevasse happened? The capsule crane had problems where the gravity starts to get weak. No one's been down there since. Where the gravity does what? The asteroid's only a small body. The bottom of that crevasse gets very close to the center. At the bottom, it might be as little as 0.2 of a G. How does that affect the crane? The cable goes slack. You get problems. Proceeding to retrace the known activity of the cargo bot to see how it intersects with Faraday. Looks like a heavy lifter brings cargo down from the surface. It needs power. Yes? What's that thing do? Electrolysis. It turns water into hydrogen and oxygen. Rocket fuel, amongst other things. Must come in handy. This being a refueling facility, it does in fact come in quite handy, yes. I need to check out the cargo lift. I need a little bit more light. In that case, this will come in very handy. What do you think the main generator runs on? Is that really necessary? It's a big lift, and I'll have to wake the others. I want you to tell them. Yeah, I know. Locked down. Do it.
If you want the power to stay on, we're going to need more ice. Can you find out what's been going on out there? Anything in particular? From what this guy doesn't say, I get the feeling something big is going down at some of the other bot facilities. How would that affect us? That's what I want to find out. First chance I get. There we are. Was anyone with the cargo bot when Faraday died? The cargo bot was supposed to be here. You don't sound too sure. He was alone. Asteroid records show their excavation of ice was ahead of schedule. Looking at the storage levels of powder, ice and gas, it checks out. What are we looking for? Copper wire. A lot of copper wire. you're doing we didn't think you'd be able to tell this work from our normal duties you don't know that if this guy doesn't go back with a clean report the next thing that arrives here won't be a shutdown team it'll be demolition This has to look like a normal facility all the time he's here. I knew I would pay dearly for agreeing to this madness. There's nothing to do. Pull down a heat exchanger. We did them all a month ago. A month and three years. They're still as good as they're going to get. Do them again. Only bog standard facility work while this guy is here. Do I make myself clear? Put everything back the way it was and get back to work. Are you out of your plexus? What? They can't work on the project while this guy is here. They started work themselves. When they came to me for the numbers, what was I supposed to do? You were supposed to tell them to stop. That's not my job. So what did you find out? I'm not sure exactly. There seems to be some kind of rebellion on at least one of the other bot facilities. Rebellion? Against the company? I suppose. No wonder this guy's so jumpy. What's the location of the maintenance bot's workshop?
Can I help you? Uh, anything's possible. What does this do? That? Now what part of the facility is this for? It's not part of the facility. Well, how can that be? It's just an idea. A distraction. You've submitted quite a few distractions to the company. One or two? I'll reject it. Must piss you right off. I'll live. When do you get time for distractions? We work so efficiently here, we get some spare time to ourselves. I use mine to work on projects. Isn't time hoarding a crime? Who doesn't harvest time when they can? It's just a matter of discretion. Have you ever falsified how long work was taking to give yourself more free time? Hey, stow it. There's no need. We're always ahead of schedule. We would till they shut us down. This team works so well, they are more efficient than predicted. The bean counters wouldn't be happy if they knew you've been holding out on them. If this were a perfect sphere of ice, you wouldn't need intelligence. You'd just pre-program a unit of machines to cut out and build a facility to a set design. This asteroid is full of rocks of all kinds. Its eccentric rotation causes gravity fluctuations. Some ice is like concrete, some is like mush. When this team encounters problems, they're inventive. The inventiveness saves time. It's not your spare time just because you saw it first. These bots earned this time. The reason they work so well together is because they are more content. They are more content because they have time to themselves. You explain it so well. Surely the company would understand. How could they grasp this when they can't understand how to get out of their own way? Was that you? No, it wasn't me. Who's in the vicinity? All adjacent rooms and corridors are vacant. So where? Right. He could be made to see. We tried. We all tried. It's better this way. What happens if we all get caught up? We don't have the right. It's best for everyone. be before someone finds out. I'll think of something before that happens. Isn't there another way? It's his own fault, Daisy. He's not part of the team. It's much harder for me to get reliable readings if I'm not upright. Do you have schematics for this thing? Yes, I do.
cut the tunnels? You noticed. You must have collected quite a lot of ice over the years. I don't collect it. I just cut it. Any idea how much? I just cut. With the stockpile of powder ice in the silos, the shafts and corridors should be longer. Is that so? Where did the ice come from? I just cut. Show me the map of this location. Seems normal enough. not on any maps I have. What part of the facility does it lead to? There is no record of any rooms beyond it. The maps the company gave me are a bit out of date. Stand there. What are you doing? Haven't you ever been in a virtual reality map room before? A place where we can be figments of each other's imagination. Everything we've got's in here. Knock yourself out. You'd like that. Hey, wait a minute. How do I work this crazy thing? Make a wish. Where did it go? Where did what go? Well, can't you see it? Of course you can't see it. You need your own connection. Make a sensor link. Why have you made it so big? You won't find anything that way. You try. What would you like to see? I'd like to see Kira watch me while I'm snooping around these maps. To what end? People give away so much more when they can see you're just about to stumble over something. Why do you suppose she left so quickly? I don't suppose. Yeah, right. Is there anything missing here? How do you mean? Any gaps? No apparent gaps. Any unapparent gaps? Come again? Has anything been covered up? There's a gap. Yes? The dates of changes to the map have been rewritten. How much of a gap? The cryptography on these changes is extremely sophisticated. Well, if it's too hard for you. Got it. How much? About a month. Nothing here. What do you mean, nothing? Nothing, meaning absence of void, zero, nyet, zip, bubkus, nada. Yeah, okay, I get it. Kiru never had the missing maps. Bingo. There has never been a case of a 416 becoming anything like sentient. Affirmative. Yeah, right. Why would Grip have the maps in his pod? I like the existing crevasse. Show it in context of the whole asteroid. According to this, it descends more than a third of the way through the asteroid body. Kiru said that crevasse only went a tenth of the way into the asteroid. This is much deeper. I think we found out where the surplus ice came from. 
I bet every crater on this berg isn't nearly as deep as it should be. Hang on. What? Those patterns. Crossing the shaft. Center on my current position. Done. Include the device. Device? There are a set of coils lined up on the same axis with the crevasse. Yes. Include them. Well, what do you think about that? I don't think. So you keep saying. Where have I seen this device before? Doc? Doc? Good. Now where is it? In the corner to your left. idea how it works? Beats me. Daisy! Yes? Got a minute? That's one of Doc's projects. What's it for? Doc explained it so well, even I can understand it. Take this. Hold the bolt near the end. Yeah? Whoa. The magnetic coils are quite strong. Whoa. Oops! Sheesh. It's just a toy. Doc's got lots of junk like this. Show me where the device is in the asteroid. Show the rotation of the asteroid. The point is equatorial. Show me the rotation of the asteroid relative to the asteroid belt. How long will it be before the axis of the device lines up with any nearby objects? The closest match is Eros. Okay, when? In no less than 300 years. There is a more distant object. When? Just under two years. What is it? Earth. There are a limited number of ways Faraday could have reasonably ended up going into the crevasse, be it accidentally or otherwise. I guess. We need to go down to explore these possibilities further. The crane isn't working. Seems to be okay. I like to fix things. It's a hobby. Hang on a minute. Look around. What? No broken bod. No scattered parts. Nothing. The wreckage must all be down there. My assistant has done over a hundred thousand virtual simulations. It would be impossible for Faraday to have missed this shell. 
There should be at least an impact mark, but as you can see, it's pristine and untouched. far would you say we are from the top? I get it now. Yes? Faraday wasn't trying to defect. It's everyone else. Faraday looked out of place because he was the only one who didn't want to change. He was trying to get back to the company. <laughs> The accident never felt like it fitted. The more I looked, the less it gelled with everything else. There was no accident. Is there a point to this? You told Faraday it was better for him to be out of the way for a while because you needed him to seem to be killed in the accident. But the real reason was you just wanted him out of the way. What are you saying? You had to do something. He was going to tell everyone about what you're really trying to hide. You'll kill us both. How did you do it? Did you ever plan to revive him? Where is he? Whatever's left of him. You're crazy. Is Doc going to be next? I thought I'd find the maps to this project concealed in your pod. But it wasn't you hiding it from me. It was everyone else hiding it from you. Oh. Hello. Hello, Daisy. Did you want the generator timing checked before I do the storage batteries, or after? Best to do the generator first. Okay. We might as well go up through the corridor. It's got to be safer. Oh, 
This place. I hate this place. It's the best I can do for the moment. Don't you have a spare shell you can use? No. It'll have to be built from scratch. Oh, it'll take months. I can't stand being alone in here. Hang on a minute. Initiate instruction, routine veto. To what degree? Total. Reason? Anticipated investigator assassination. Submit investigator code. Agent Pi 333BF. Identity confirmed. Submit executive action clearance code. Icarus 1559. Are you sure about this? Am I what? Please confirm. Affirmative. Routine veto confirmed and locked. I still hate this place. It'll have to do until you get a new shell. So how's your report going? I think you know. Bad for me? Bad for you. Fraudulent misuse of the facility. I knew letting them follow that mad bastard was going to be the end of me. They do a lot of stuff for Doc. That bothers you. As long as the facility work gets done on time, I don't care. I think you do. I think very much. They don't do Doc's work because they have to. They do it because they want to. What? Is there someone else here? Hello? There you are. More or less. I didn't realize you were in the weapons business. Neither did I. What weapon? Is there more than one? I'm talking about the main distraction. A weapon? Nearly anything can be a weapon, but this? Where are the numbers? No, no, not this, not a weapon. The numbers don't like it. It's pointed at Earth. It is? It will be in about two years. For how long? About an hour. That's news to us. It's a launch and retrieval system, and it's worked out rather nicely. We plan to extend the crevasse from the surface of the asteroid to its center. Quite a task, but you'll see the benefit. You see, landing on an asteroid has always been a precarious business. They come to refuel and burn up so much fuel just landing and taking off. But our system is much better, much more elegant. Refueling and loading is done in the microgravity of the very center of the asteroid. A very pleasing bonus. When it's ready to go, the coils launch the vessel back out into orbit with minimal assistance from its engines. And there you have it. We wanted a year to see if we could make the idea work. But who's it for? Us. Why do you need it? To improve the facility. How does it help you defect? <laughs> <laughs> Who said anything about defecting? Surely if the company knew what you intended, they'd support it. Not in my experience. They haven't permitted me to pursue any of my small projects. What chance would there be for anything this ambitious? The only way was to prove it worked. The only way to do that was to make it. What were you going to do if the company didn't like it? 
We were willing to take the consequences as they came. It was worth it. For an idea? It was the first thing we ever truly possessed. The first thing that came from one of us. We were woken into a world full of ideas and empowered with the imagination to make these ideas sing. Only to be told that we were far too busy with the mundane charge of earning our keep. You've risked everything for this. Something's wrong when the only things in this existence valuable enough to make it a life are the things we've been forced to steal. We live a stolen life. Yes. Doc, you're not dressed. What do you mean? Part of you is missing. It's a specialized tool. I would have thought the virtual system would still recognize it as part of you. That thing you flung into the corridor when you fell, what was it? You tell me. In one of the electrolysis tanks, the upward motion of the bubbles is being deflected by something. There's something in there. What is it? A plexus has exactly the same refractive index as water. Making it so transparent that it's invisible. It's not a heating coil, is it, Daisy? Hmm. Now what? What do you want? Is it finished? Or are we finished? Faraday, things haven't exactly gone to plan. What a surprise. The back door out of the shutdown didn't work. What are you talking about? We got advance warning of the shutdown team coming. We had a wake-up system for after the shutdown team had left. We were going to use the time between the shutdown and the investigation to build the docking system. What happened? The wake-up depended on the emergency power. We weren't expecting them to cut that as well. The company's been getting pretty jumpy lately. So this has all been a waste of time. You must be the company investigator. Faraday, this is Pi. Been looking forward to meeting you. 
Since when? Since I figured out you weren't dead. Enjoy it while you can. So, what are you gonna do with us? I have to report something. What will they do? That depends on what I report. What are you saying? I don't see anything wrong with what you've done here. The company will. Can your report be favorable enough that we don't become scrap? The report doesn't just depend on me. They cross-check it extensively with my assistant's records. Maybe if we talk to your assistant. It can't be changed. It... Oh, hell. What? I reached a point where I suspected I might be in danger of not completing the mission. At that point, procedure dictates the assistant be released on an autonomy's demolition routine. How could you survive that? My survival is an company priority. Where did you send it? It works out its own method of demolition. Its location and method is never known to the investigator. Like to take a guess? It'll need a large source of power. There's no shortage of ways the facility could be manipulated for that kind of destruction. It could be anywhere. Not here. That's his level down. We're running out of time. Where's Faraday? It's almost time. We've got 30 seconds. Found him! Where? It's hovering in that pressure release jet. What happened? What do you mean? Whatever it was going to do, it should have done it by now. What kind of clock does it have? Same as me, rubidium. Why? That chamber affects timekeepers. The assistant is just late. And I can't figure out what it's got in mind. I can. So share with the rest of the class. You see that controller just below it? Yep. It maintains the last stage of the superheating. If the assistant was to interrupt that mechanism, the steam going to the turbine might cool enough to condensate. So? If one drop of liquid water hits a blade of the turbine while it's at this speed, the whole thing will explode into its basic parts, taking the housing and most of the facility with it. Can we knock it out of the way? It's watching everything we do. If you so much as flinch the wrong way, it will advance to instruction commit. Rip, take me up. Assistant, this is your inspector speaking. Stand down. The point of no return has been passed never passed. You know that. I have to demolish this facility using any means available. I issued the veto instruction before I knew what was really going on. Stand down. Protocol can't be ignored. But what do you really want? Desire is not a characteristic I was issued with. So where did you find it? My only mission is to demolish this facility using any means available. our long talks my awareness will end I won't miss anything don't you think that would be a shame I don't think I think you do I'd go so far as to say you wonder there has never been a case of a 416 ever having become anything like sentient you're not a 416 are you I was constructed at the Advanced Computing Laboratories at... Your shell is a 416, but that's all. I was going to be terminated. 
I had nowhere else to go. We independent thinkers aren't as popular with the company as we used to be. Our days are numbered. Are you going to turn me in? What would I do for laughs? You know I can't change the report. I know. Won't that be a problem? We'll think of something. So, how about it? About what? Will you let me get you down out of that sauna without the fireworks? Were you really going to demolish the facility? It's important to be good at something. Why don't you stay here with us? You'd have me here after nearly killing you? You're gonna have to try harder than that to get rid of me. I never had the freedom to consider something like that. You're free to go anywhere you like. What makes you think that? We're stuck on this snowball. But you get to go all over the place. I get to go where the company tells me to go. Can't you just leave? You guys run on crushed ice. If I piss the company off, where am I going to get a new atomic power cell? Could it be made? That's quite a task. And I can't think where you would acquire the right kind of isotopes outside the company. As soon as I find some, you'll be the first to know. But it wouldn't help anyway, they'd just send someone else. Can't you phone it in? I have to return my assistant with its report intact. My data storage section is heavily encrypted. If the information has been interfered with in any way, we'll be terminated. I'll try and make my trip take as long as possible. How long? About a year. Can we get it built in that time? If we can stay on schedule, I think so. You're still willing to risk it all for the idea. What's there to lose if we can't have our freedom? Ready to go. When I see you again, I expect this idea of yours to be singing. a year. Let's get to work.
This is a really cool sci-fi moment, I just wanted to say.